I'll show you some pictures. And what type, what, this is a Peterbilt what? Peterbilt 389, year 20, year 2020. With uh, 560, 5, 565 Cummings engine. Who's coming down the hill? Neighbor lady. It's got the Cummins what in it, Al? And at, he says if it were to need a new turbocharger, it would only cost $50. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, They're only 50 bucks. 50 bucks. 50 I'll sell you my old one for 50 bucks. <laughs> sell you the old one. He can make some <laughs> knives out of the blades in there, hey? Yeah. Real high-end steel. So, Good looking yeah. truck. Burn that in one day. Eight, how many liters? 800 liters. Oh, dang. That's pulling hard though. That's a full day. That's a, yeah, it's a, a loaded trailer. And this here pump is uh, it's a, a product pump. It's for uh, gasoline and diesel. Are you hauling it? Uh, to transfer from my trailers to the tanks. See? Hmm. Or if I'm hauling it to a gas station, they can put them in their tanks. See? And this, this is an oil cooler. So this is run by a PTO. So this, this cools uh, hydraulic oil. There's not much hydraulic oil, but it's only this full, right? So it's only, only has three gallons of oil in there, right? So it, it, you have to keep it cool, right? These tires are the most expensive tires you can buy on semi. I've got about 50,000 K on these and lots of chains. You know, all over Yukon and BC and them. Yes, this tires cost me about six thousand dollars for these tires. Did you order the stacks like that? The uh, I, I bought a, uh, yeah, I did, yeah. I'm gonna do a walk around of the truck here. And then this is a fifth called a fifth wheel, right? This is called a slide. So, so when you're towing trailers, you have to have a right, yeah, right. pretty darn nice looking unit. Must be the pig piss right there. Well, there's all the money right there. See if you, I'll have to let him know that I'm gonna go hop in there and check it out. Inside, inside the cab, I have a lever, and there's this airline here, and it uh, it undoes these little dogs that go in here. I click in, and the fingers fit into these notches, eh? Yeah. And so I adjusted this. This is pretty common to. In, in, in this area, um, that distributes my weight evenly over the truck. But I can I just sort of spread your weight out. These are all my tire chains. Oh, yeah, he's got a lot of tire nice tire chains there. We'll go in here and have a glance. What a brand new Peterbilt looks like. Still smells new. Oh, nice. That'll blame him for wanting to sleep in here. Can't complain with that. It's like a little RV. I'd like to turn one of these into an RV. Oh, hey, look at that. Nice. Look at the cab is real. A little close. This is like a pickup truck almost. That's real nice. If I honk the horn, those guys will be scared right now. Look at that, eh? Hard to believe how... Look at that, I can almost touch that door right there. That's real tight in the... In the cab here. That's hard to believe. 
I like the seat. It's a comfortable seat. Huh. All right on. And you having that little window there too, eh? Oh, not much pedal wear yet. Take note of that. Everybody who gets to see this in years from now. Brand new Peterbilt. Not brand new, but 200,000 clicks on her now. But. <laughs> yep. Well, I better do a... Back here, we'll get another shot of it. And he got the hood open. Al was showing off the motor there. He's got his nice moose guard in the front. Some people down here call it a cattle guard, but from where Al's from, that's a moose guard. It's not. A, I called it a cattle guard. So, well, I guess that's it for this video. Good looking truck. Yep. I like the stacks. It's real classy looking. 